uh, attempt number two, surely. And he's collected this time, and it's straight in, no hesitation. And Chris Bamber's onto that. He let it fly, and he did. The Skyman stopped it there. Gordy McKinnon looking to leather it up the field here, but Sky are fighting hard. Number five. And that's setting up to Daniel Stewart. They're claiming it's out there, but the game rages on. And out for a shy to Fort William. So, Chris Mamber on the far side with the shy. Sky urging the men to watch the runners. Who's going to come in contact with that? Gary Ennis is. But it's coming right down to me. Where's it going to go? Oh. That was a hard one there. Alexander to take. Take it in the back of the legs. Still in there. Aaron's let that one run. Gordy McKinnon. And it's a cracking goal by Gordy McKinnon there. Now then, if you want to see how goals should be taken, well that's it, number 10. Gordy McKinnon, Fort William. It's been pretty one-sided for Sky, it's got to be said. Uh, so you heard a man on the microphone there. Guy man getting some uh, getting some tape administered there in front of us to uh, uh, injury to his thumb, and he hasn't got time because the refs played on and uh, never given him a chance to get treated there. There was a kick by Chris Bamber, but he got away with that. Must have been judged to be accidental, although accidents uh, some some refs don't get away with that. And uh, uh, Daniel judged to have tripped him under the stick there, so it's a. Uh, Three hit the sky. I'm, shout, I'm hearing shouting uh, by the fort management there. So Neil is in it there, and Stevie Stewart switched it across to Aaron McPhee, who's been who's been pushed off the ball and deemed to have been fouled. Sometimes one goal can turn a game. Hi Joe, it's warm. So who's happening here? And Aaron's in on that one, is he? And it's put out for a... I'm looking to see if it's a shy. Uh, a corner and it is. My goal judge has uh, judged that to be a corner. So we'll have to pan out here till we get the goals and see where the forwards are. And it's Gordy that's taken that one, it's right into the D, it's right in the far side, it's coming into me now. So. Gordy, Gordy, Gordy was hooked there. I could hear that, but Aaron's onto this. And he's running in there, he's going to have a pack. Oh, oh that was uh, that was close stuff there. A round of applause from the crowd. And uh, hard lines by Aaron McPhee. And it's out for a corner for Gordy McKinnon to go and take.
Right, this is going to be shorter this time, I think. Oh, where's that going now? Number two's on to that for Sky and sent out the touch on the far side there just for that vehicle's coming in with a, a car and its uh, trailer. <coughs> okay, Shy on the far side, Chrissy Bamber to take. And it's coming in now, and who's on to that? It's Gary Innes is on to that, and they turned it, and, and who's there now? Aaron tried it, and it looks to me as if it's going to be, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a corner. It's coming, son, they're shouting to Aaron, and it could be. You can see the, 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 the fans are thoroughly enjoying this as the shot comes in, and let it go, he says, and Victor Smith stopped that one and sends it back to... The sky keeper will be uh, much relieved that uh, that bit of pressure is over. Good hit out down the park there. I've not seen very much, that's because I'm into the trees. But it's back up again. And it's over there. On, and on, what's boy. happening now? I'm looking at the sea. On, it's a shy to a sky. And the keeper is urging the boys to get the finger out. Now that's coming across here. And Daniel's going to try and make that, but it doesn't. And it sends it down. The left hand side of the park. I'm looking to see what's happening and it's getting running towards the goal. So I pan out to see what's happening here. And it's a corner of the sky. So the boys are going through the water here today, but no wonder. Whatever Gary's just through the trees there, so it's handy if we, if we run out of Aqua PV. And that was Alexander McMillan there, clearing the lines. Okay, short corner I think has been taken. Can't see, whistle goes. No, balls, balls played across. Sky are still on it. Somebody's running it in here. He's flicking it in, but there's a, a flag up and it's in our corner. So let's have a look at the, the clock here. We've got 40 minutes on the clock, so five are thereabouts to go. It's been fired in there. So, the ball must have bobbled off there. Felix is resetting it. Down the far, far wing there. Gordy McKinnon ducked it out the road there and he's taking it for a run and he got pushed there. He's not happy. So, Neil McPhee take this one. Takes it to his brother Aaron. He turns on it there and a nice block in there. He's going to have a ping and it come off the sky man. And where's it going to land now? He's going to land at Gordy McKinnon there. What's he going to do with this? Through his legs. Gary's going to whip it round, is he? Oh, good play there. Down the box. That's a nice wee, nice wee ball there by Aaron, and it's out for the corner. So that's the first corner on this side of the park. Uh, Alexander McMillan is running up to, to take. So James Clark Jr. has got the ball there, and he fired it on to 
Alexander. Number six. Oh, hard line surface. Uh, a good try to uh, so that ball could have been anywhere there. So with just a few minutes left in the first half. Good play by Stevie Stewart there, fired up the wing. Who's on it? Gordy McKinnon there. Come on ref, people are shouting here. And that's a great ball. That is a, that's a peach of a ball that. And it's come off the keeper there, who made a great save, really. Uh, come off the keeper, so uh, I've got a corner on the far side. Chris Bamber coming up for this one. Nice floating wee ball in there, offside, the man is deemed to be Gary, offside there. McPhee sends it down the side and out of touch. So I've got a shy to Sky down there on the other side of Peter Mantar. Good shy from Sky there because right into the middle of the park. Cleared by Stevie Stewart up as far as Gary Ennis. He's going to turn and ping one right down this wing here towards me. Beach is not going to beat Aaron though. No. Good Aaron boy. So we've got Shy to the fort here on the left hand side and Alexander McMillan coming to take that. Well, there's a wee bit of confusion there, wasn't there? The Sky player saw it as a corner, but the, the linesman didn't. And then he changed his mind for the goal judge. But anyway, here we go. That's shinty for you. What's happening? That's getting down there. The referee will be looking at his watch. There was a little bit of injury time. About a minute, maybe, if that. I'm looking at Gary there, he's holding his hamstring, it might just be a bit in the painful side. We might find a substitution at half time, but meanwhile back at the ranch, let's all go down at the far away goal, as you can see. So, I've got the camera pointed at the man in blue because I think he's going to blow for full time as soon as the hit out's taken. 
But I was just thinking that because it didn't happen. Digger doing well there for Sky. And number 11. Three hit, three hit Sky there. And the closing seconds of the first half. That's on the goal, that's over the top. And that's possibly the last attack from either team in this half. 48 minutes on my clock. So, first half comes to an end. We'll get an announcement just now, I would think. Uh, half time, ladies and gentlemen, it's 1 0 to Fort William. 10 minutes for half time. Uh, right. Yeah, not bad, thanks. So, you heard the man, 10 minutes uh, break for the boys, and uh, the score sitting at uh, 1 0 to Fort William. So this will give us another little chance to uh, just have a little look and see uh, who's in uh, Craigard Park today. Well, it's the ref. The ref's having a, uh, a word with the, the linesman who's uh, enjoying a fag. Uh, we can see some four ladies over there. I'm assuming that bus driver there is, uh, is cooking very slowly. Lucky Fraser, second team keeper. I think I can see Ted jumping about over there. Never far away from a shunty match, Ted. So there we are. There's a, a cross section of the crowd there. A swing slowly around to this end of the park, or this side of the park I should say. And this cracking day. And we'll pause there for half time and see you in five minutes. Have a bit there,